J1407b is one of the most well-known planets outside the solar system, and for good reason. The planet is thought to host one of the biggest ring systems in the known universe, earning it the nickname the Super Saturn. You might have heard how the rings are so big they take up nearly all the space between Earth and the Sun, or that if Saturn had rings that big they'd be bigger than the full moon in Earth's sky. These rings, if they existed, would truly be a sight to behold. Unfortunately, new and old data about J1407b is challenging what this world looks like. The latest evidence shows that the object called J1407b is nothing like what it's been pictured as, and what's truly like is far different. The idea of J1407b being a planet at all is coming into question, and so are its rings. New theories are suggesting that the planet J1407b and its iconic rings don't even exist at all. So what's going on? J1407b was originally thought to orbit a star called V1400 Centauri, a young sun-like star in the constellation Centaurus. While studying V1400 Centauri, the star was found to be strangely dimming, indicating the presence of a planet. This was the first detection of J1407b. However, the dimming didn't stop there, as ahead and behind of J1407b were smaller dips that aligned with the planet. This could only be explained by the presence of a gigantic ring system, and so J1407b became the first planet to have rings confirmed by the transit method. But shortly after this, problems became apparent. J1407b's rings didn't seem like they'd be stable. Based on the star's age and size of the rings, J1407b shouldn't have been able to hold on to its rings for as long as it had, casting doubts on their existence. Luckily, this problem could be avoided if it was assumed that the rings orbited in the opposite direction J1407b orbited its star. So, problem averted, right? J1407b could still have its rings. But the problems didn't end there. J1407b was estimated to have an orbital period that lasted anywhere between 3 and 13 years. So, a few years after the first detection, telescopes were once again turned to V1400 Centauri to get a second look at the planet. It wasn't there. The first detection of J1407b happened in 2007. By now, in 2023, we should have seen it. But again and again, telescopes were pointed at the star, and it wasn't there. J1407b was missing its transits over and over. No further detections of the planet were made from 2007 all the way to 2023, 16 years. That's well outside the estimated time it takes to orbit, so it was definitely gone. Planets don't just disappear, so what's going on? To make things even stranger, astronomers have been looking at V1400 Centauri all the way back in the 1850s. Astronomers back then would have been able to see J1407b's transits and document it. There is now over a century of data to look through, so surely something must have been seen. No such luck. From 1890 to 1990, over 100 years and anywhere from 7 to 33 transits of J1407b, nothing showed up. This rules out pretty much every possible orbital configuration for J1407b. Once again, it had mysteriously disappeared. Now, new theories are being proposed, because they have to be. Whatever happened at V1400 Centauri, and whatever J1407b was, it's clearly not a planet, and it doesn't orbit the star it passed in front of. The idea of J1407b, the super Saturn exoplanet with the biggest rings in the known universe, has been proven wrong. A new theory has been proposed, and it's one of the most likely options, is that J1407b is a rogue brown dwarf. This would be a type of brown dwarf, which is an object between a planet and a star in size, but doesn't orbit a star like a rogue planet. In this case, J1407b's rings as they're currently imagined do not exist. Instead, they would be a small-scale protoplanetary disk where new planets are forming. This is one of the most likely and uplifting options for what J1407b is. Instead of being the iconic ringed exoplanet people know it as, it would instead be the head of its own mini-stellar system where new planets were forming. The disk in this case would already be in the process of forming planets. A major gap discovered in the disk through J1407b's singular transit could indicate the presence of a planet anywhere from the size of Mars to almost the size of Venus, showing that planet formation might already be underway in the system. It's important to emphasize how this is all still theoretical, and if it is true, how unlikely it would be. But since J1407b simply hasn't shown up again, the rogue round dwarf hypothesis is, in my opinion, the most likely option. And that makes J1407b far more interesting than it would have been if it had rings. Out of all the stars in the universe, it passed in front of V1400 Centauri, and out of all the directions it could have come from, it came from the right direction for us to see it. Stellar encounters like these are extremely rare, and the odds of a chance alignment like what happened with Earth, 
V1400 Centauri, and the Rogue Brown Dwarf J1407B are incredibly low. It's likely humanity will never see anything like it again for thousands, if not millions, of years. While it's sad that this new J1407B doesn't have rings like was suspected, and instead has a protoplanetary disk, this makes it all the more interesting. It's become a once-in-a-galaxy event that happened at just the right moment for humanity to witness, and even though it's not the ring planet we thought it was, I think it's incredible we got to see it at all. But this newer, more accurate picture of J1407b won't last long. Because of the object's low mass, it will rapidly cool down over the next few million years as its debris disk slowly disintegrates. It's unknown how long this will take, because now that it no longer orbits a star, the most reliable way of determining its mass has gone completely out the window, and the more mass a brown dwarf has, the longer it shines. But no matter what, whether it's just 13 Jupiter masses or just under 80, it will eventually cool down like all brown dwarfs do. What began as the jewel of the Milky Way, an incredible planet with an impossible ring system, has now been doomed to be just another rogue brown dwarf among billions, slowly cooling toward the temperature of interstellar space. There's still a small sliver of hope that J1407b might still be a ringed planet, but with each passing day that grows more and more unlikely as the planet fails and fails again to show up for its transit and it becomes more and more likely that it's a dark, cold, rogue brown dwarf. This means that J1407b and its planetary companions will roam the galaxy in total darkness for the rest of eternity, as the ring planet that never was. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets, as well as my colonization of the solar system series.